Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind. So in the last episode we upgraded our armor finally and made it through the Pure Lands up into this cave and took down an Ice Dragon. So now we're going to continue to explore deeper into this and see if we can make our way to the Mana Tree. Um, I just want to check our weapons real quick. My, my Lance is almost maxed out, which is great news. For me, it looks like the sword's about to be maxed out, and Prim's still working on her wit. Okay. Oh, jeez, boss. Uh, real quick before we face this guy, I want to try something. So it looks like uh, Papoy's dryad is maxed out, so let's go ahead and switch off his magic. Um, let's go ahead and keep working on this. Since we, that I think uh, the Undine for him is the highest next to the. Whoa! Get back here. Ooh, four hundred. Whoa! Get back here. You're a little leapy little bastard, aren't you? Undine is the weakness. Perfect. Ow! Can I stand? With how much damage we're dealing, this thing's going to be down really quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. Jeez. Seriously, but boy, your magic is kind of bullshit. Way to go! Good job, team! That was an easy one. So far, that dragon has been the hardest one in the game for me. Or not, not the ice dragon, but the little serpent time one. Okay, javelin orb. Nice! Oh, jeez, get out of here. Okay, before we do anything, let's take down this guy, because if I remember correctly, they summon new enemies. I don't like new enemies. Come on, level up the spear. I want to see what one of these maxed out weapons do. Nice. Maxed out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what do we want to level up next? Let's go ahead and work on our axe. It seems a shame that now that we're getting into this late game section... Whoa. I gotta get off my most powerful weapon. Hey, we'll survive. Oh. Ooh, nice! Undine leveled up. How many times do we have to smack this bastard? Get out of here, ghost. No one wants you. What's that other spell he has? Hmm. Oh, looks like we've got another one of these. We got another dragon? Nah, we're not gonna save this time. How many dragons are there? We had the little serpent one, we had the ice dragon, that weird jumping bird shithead. Ow, ow! Come on, let's at least get to level two. There we go. And I missed completely. Oh, shoot. Alright, let's just skip these guys and go in. Later, guys. Bye-bye. This one must be a fire dragon. 
Ow, ow, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Where did the dragon go? I'm not even going to bother trying to... Whoa, okay. Um, Start off with that. Give me ice enchant. And let's switch me over to a ranged weapon. Ooh, nice damage. Nice. What is this? Okay, absorbs enemy HP. I've never used that, but that's good to know. This guy's gonna drop quick. Ow, 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 poor thing. Stay right here. You're not allowed to leave. Shithead. Nope, get back here. I killed it off screen. Nice. I didn't even know what I did to it. So that armor made the entire difference in this area. Everything is just that much easier. Gloves orb, nice. I was gonna say, I felt like we were missing some orbs for that. Okay, well let's head back to that disembodied voice and see if they'll open up a next section of this area. Here we are. Nah, I don't really want you to save. I got into some trouble last time where we saved prematurely. Get out of here! You take care of the ghost while we do this. Ow! At least it's good to know that their version of a crit nowadays is only 98 damage. more and we should be fine. Hmm, 33% for that. Lumita's almost level 4 and her Sylph is almost leveled up. Let's work on that a little bit since we have the time and the magic to do so. Let's go ahead and balloon that guy so we don't have to worry about him. Oh, it didn't work? That sucks. Thunder Saber! Nice! There we go, self level 3. Perfect. Just working it just a hair. Wait, nope. There we go. Almost there. Come on. Getting a lot of royal jam, but we can't use any of it, unfortunately. that's going to be maxed out for him for the time being. Okay, so if that's the case... Yeah, start working on the harpoon. I wonder how 
big it's going to be once we leveled up the ending one more time. Because it seems like the animation changes slightly as you level it up. time to actually level up my uh, charge attacks. Like while they're uh, frozen during one of the spell animations. It gives me time to level it up. Just gonna ignore him for the time being. Come on. Nice damage. Yeah, I didn't think her uh, light would do much. It's really low level, but we might as well keep using it. Uh, mushroom, go away. I wish the axe still did uh, double damage against the aquatic foes, like they did at the beginning of the game. Is there a way to switch up what uh, ability you get? Or is it just the second you level up past that, it's done? Get back down here! Oh, wow. Randy's got the hops to get up there. Shoot. Whoa, just got really bright out of nowhere. I'm just gonna keep running. Or are we going in circles now? It looks like we're going in circles. No no oh, okay, we can go up top. Oh, shitballs! Okay, let's go ahead and get myself a fire technique. And let's do a quick cure just to stay safe. Okay, let's go ahead and lower his attack power as well. Oh, it's a Thunder Gigas. Not a, it looked like an ice one. Okay, time out. We're going to have to check it then. Ow. Yeah, I probably should have noticed it was lightning considering all the electric orbs we have going on here. Ooh, this guy's a lot of health. Weak against Gnome. Okay, good to know. Alright, we got this, guys. Keep him frozen. Keep him frozen. Doesn't do a lot of damage, because I don't think I leveled up Gnome very much, unfortunately. And I'm going to be paying for that in this fight, I guarantee it. Okay, so no Stone Saber. Let's just go ahead and speed me up. I think I can survive his attack, so I just want to kill it quickly now. 
100, not bad. Ow! Jeez! Well, at least during this part of it right here, I can level up or um, charge up my attack. Oh, that's right. It gets rid of it if I try to use a spell in between. Okay, I'm on. There we go. Double hit. Good job. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, nice crit. Come on, come back together, buddy. I'm just gonna go ahead and there, it's maxed. That was lovely. Good job, Randy, I approve. No, I didn't want to do it for all of us. If I do it for all of us, we basically get nothing. And done! Success! Oh, we're gonna have a lot of money to spend when we get back to Watts. Sword Orb! Yes, we can finally max out the Mana Sword. It's so good to see. If that's the case, I want to start leveling this guy up. This thing looks so cool! Wow, that did like no damage. Alright, we're just gonna run past this. I'm gonna try to get to the back area as quickly as we can. Dragons, do you want me to slay, disembodied voice? I swear, I swear. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, I think we're gonna have to use the gnome against this one too. Really, I'm not doing a lot of damage though. Nice. Come on, stay in position. Nope. Okay, I'll just wait for him to come back and we'll knock his shit out. Whoa! Holy crap, did I do 900 on that? Holy shit. Come on, come on. I'm, I'm trying to use my gem missile, come on. I'll wait till he comes back. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but... The more we use it, the more we can level it up, so that's a good thing. So it seems like a certain percentage of the, their hitbox has to be on screen for us to even activate these kind of spells. It seems rather touchy. Let's just spam it. I don't care. This is a perfect opportunity to level us up. Come back, dragon! What are we at? I just out of curiosity, sorry to do this in the middle of the battle. Uh, no. Ooh, about to level up gnome. That's always a good thing. I think one more spell should do it. Yep, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Yeah, even the gems are a little bit bigger now. 200! That rose up quick. Defeated the blue dragon. Yeah! 
Three dragons down. I got... This is just a boss rush at this point. Six bosses down in this one area. Boomerang or Nice. So, as of right now, we just need a Fist and a Werebuster, which means there's probably one more Dragon and one more random boss so we can max everything out. Let's just kill these guys for the fun of it. Eh. Alright guys, so we're gonna head upwards one more screen just to see... Ooh, a Griffin Helm. Does that do anything? I doubt it, but... Actually, it does! Nice! I wasn't expecting to have any better armor dropping, but it must be a rare drop that came off of an enemy in a chest. Alright, let's just look one more room before we do anything. Yep, here we go. There it is! Feels like I'm dreaming. Did we really do it? We still have to get over there. I'm glad I met you. And you too, for that matter. What can I say? You guys Thank you for being nice for the first time in the game. So much has happened to us in such a short time. Without you guys, I never would have made it. Thanks. There's one last job to do. If the mana tree can restore the sword. That fortress won't stand a chance against us. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. Whoa, what is that? Feast your eyes upon the power of the mana fortress. No. I swear to God, if you burn that tree down. No, they wouldn't do that, would they? Awaken. Where, where are we? Wait, where's the mana tree? Oh, jeez. They burned the entire forest down. Thanatos gave us the slip again. And we were so close. What's going to happen to the world now? Silence is... Do not despair. Even without its physical form, I am still with you. So it's more of a spirit and less an actual the tree. Okay. Of the mana fortress has used up most of the world's mana. Soon all the mana left in the world will be transformed into one giant creature. Holy crap. Okay. But the rapid decrease of mana has caused the beast to descend into a crazed frenzy. If the beast attacked the fortress, the world would not survive the encounter. The only way to avoid this tragedy is to first defeat the mana beast with the sword. I can do that. Easy enough. You. Oh. So we're gonna get back into Brandis Parents are. With the last of his strength, he journeyed to 
daughter to retrieve the man's sword that he never used. You mean that ghost I saw by the falls? That's kind of creepy. We are of the Mana Tribe. How's it even possible? Members of our tribe are fated to become the Mana Tree to protect the world for future generations. Others, like your father, inherit the Mana Sword to fight the evils that threaten peace and prosperity. So is this like the uh, Elkris in the Shinar series? If the swords of mana are nearly gone, you could penetrate its shield. With the last of my energy, I will call upon the seeds of mana to once again resonate with your sword. What happens without the mana tree? We're gonna have to. We need a new one. Is the point? We're gonna need someone, a new person, to become the new tree. No. We finally meet now. This. So who's gonna do it? Me. Mother. Mother. Oh no. Mother. Be okay. Oh, the mana tribe. I've got big shoes to fill, but I'll protect the world like my mother and father. That's spirit, buddy. I don't know why, but it almost feels like I met my own mother. She's here in my heart. What if you guys are siblings? Let's do this. Oh boy. But yeah, what I was saying before is um it seems kind of similar. If anyone's ever read the Shinara series by Terry Brooks, uh the second book actually has to do with a uh magical tree and an individual every like I think it's like half millennia or something has to become the, the tree dies naturally over time. So a new person every half century or half millennia to millennia has to give up their life or convert their life into being the new tree. Anyways, guys, so we're going to end this off here and continue onwards. We're going to first head back and upgrade all of our weaponry with uh, Watts. And then we're going to take this Mana Beast down. So I'll see you guys all then. Bye-bye.